Now sunset from our Pembroke Park Tower camera, a very different view. Um, you know, I'm feeling warm from these pictures, but from <laughs> Betty's forecast, it's bone chilly. We're not going to be warm for very much longer, <laughs> Betty. I, I'm wondering what kind of cold weather pictures viewers are going to be sending yeah. in yeah. tomorrow and especially <laughs> Sunday true. morning. Yeah. I yeah. can only Big imagine. Uh, I can only imagine. A lot of iguanas. The, fu <laughs> uh, the fuzzy boots. Yeah. You, what yeah. are they called? Uggs or Uggs, something? Uggs. Yeah. yeah. There you go. All right. Oh, there you okay. go. I guess those are still a thing. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Temperatures surged into the 70s today. We made it up to 75 in Miami. So this is our warm up ahead of the big cool down. This evening, once the sun goes down, we'll start to slip into the 60s. And then once the cold front passes, here we go. Northwest winds by early tomorrow and we drop off into the 50s and it's on down from there. Check out the satellite and radar imagery as we track the leading edge of one front now slipping in near Lake Okeechobee and then the stronger cold front is associated with the Arctic air and some of that really cold air starting to dive into portions of the Ohio Valley and Tennessee Valley where we see the snow showers going. Of course, we are keeping an eye on the northeast looking to see has the low pressure system the nor'easter started to form and really take off yet. No, not yet, but by tomorrow it should really be on there and that's when the Arctic front makes its way all the way through South Florida and the gates are open for northwest winds to drive the really chilly air in and you are going to feel it. Winds will be whipping on Saturday and then on Sunday, though they relax a little bit, they still are going to stir and they'll be stirring from the north. So the cold simply continues. Temperatures drop off into the 30s Sunday morning. That is the forecast. But I do need to let you know that we're forecasting upper 30s around Fort Lauderdale, Miami, many of your neighborhoods. There could be some far inland areas that drop off to the freezing mark. And that is why we have a freeze watch that has been issued uh, not only for far western Broward, but into western areas of Miami Dade. And a part of this watch does touch the Redland areas and say just west of Kendall around Kendall Lakes, even in your homestead. There are some spots that may touch the 32 degree mark. We will see either way. We need to prepare for the cold. Tomorrow is blustery. Temperatures are in the 50s during the day and then Saturday night it starts to drop by Sunday morning. Forecasting lows in the upper 30s, highs around 60 degrees sunshine, but deceptive sunshine. Monday, Tuesday, we will start to warm it back up.